Welcome to the vlog. What up YouTube? How you doing out there? Hope you guys are good. We're over here chilling in beautiful Puerto Rico. Look where we're at. We are down by the beach. Chilling. We are chilling. Update, still nobody allowed on the beach. No activity going. We're still inside. But actually, surprisingly, we've been working a lot. Right, Alexa? We've been working really hard over here. We released this hoodie. Alexa, no, not you. I swear. The mo we gotta rename the Alexa somehow. <laughs> Alexa, how do we rename you? No, I like to help with that question. Go to the help and feedback section of the Alexa app. Okay, Alexa off. We love this Alexa more. <laughs> okay, so check out the hoodie. I released this hoodie. It's my first piece of yeah, clothing released on my own brand. <laughs> check it out. This uh, is my first piece of clothing I've ever released on my own. So I'm kind of starting my own brand. Check it out, wash your hands. Kind of reminding people, stay safe, stay healthy. Basically, on this hoodie, I am making zero profit. 100% of the proceeds are going to food banks, Feeding America, all these charities to do with food, like feeding people because a lot of people are without jobs, a lot of kids are home from school and they usually depend on eating at school, so. How much money did you raise? Uh, I don't know. A lot. A lot, okay, yeah. good. So we, 100%. We released 500 hoodies, and I think they were like 300 each, so you do the math. I don't really know the exact numbers, don't quote me. I'm not the numbers guy, I'm just the artist collector, okay? So during the quarantine, we've been watching a lot of movies, a lot of different TV shows, but I've gotta say, Curb Your Enthusiasm has been like my favorite show to watch. Maybe for the past couple years, maybe the most during the quarantine, Larry David is hilarious. He's one of the funniest guys. Alexa, Alexa doesn't even really watch TV, but she likes Larry David too. He's hilarious. Huh, huh. Larry David does look a little bit like my dad. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, what are you saying? All bald people look alike? No, his face looks like your dad is. Should I do a painting of Larry David? Should I do a painting of Larry David? Yeah. That was oh, okay. I want to say thank you to Larry David for making such funny TV shows because they've been keeping us entertained. And there's Truffle. Welcome to the vlog, Truffle. Truffle is growing every day, but she's still cute and small. Hey, hey. She's teething. She's a good girl. How's she been, Alexa? She's been good? You wanna make a Larry David painting trouble? She said yes, she wants to see Larry David too. Let's give the people what they want. I don't really think I've ever seen like a big artist paint Larry David. There's, I've, there's maybe like a couple drawings and stuff, but no one's ever really done like a series of them. Could be interesting. So every piece that I do starts with a drawing. So we're gonna do a little drawing on paper with pencil. Back to the basics before we start the painting. So here we go, we got my paper right here. Let's go. Working on Larry David! Curb Your Enthusiasm, one of my favorite shows. We're watching the show. 
I'm watching the show while I'm drawing on the piece. So we're, we just kind of like drew out the basics of Larry. Now we're kind of just putting in where the darker lines are, a little bit of the shading. Now that I finished the drawing part, kind of got a feel for Larry's facial features, where his glasses sit on his face. I kind of, you know, me and Larry are getting to know each other. I really enjoy painting portraits of people like this because they make me laugh. His show is funny, you know. It, it, every time I look at it, it kind of makes me happy. He's just like a funny, happy guy. Okay, got my canvas here. This is kind of my, one of my preferred size canvas. It's like, uh, 24 by 36, so it's two by three feet. Nice size. So we're gonna do the first layer, lay down some colors, do the background, and then the fun starts. Okay, so this is kind of ghetto, but we're not at the studio today. We're using truffles uh, pads to protect the area. <laughs> we're gonna do the background now. What color do you think is a good background? What do you like? Pink. Let's go with like yellow and a, uh, a yellow, partially, and then we'll do another color. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll do another Yellow is kind of the color from Seinfeld, so for all of you that don't know who Larry David is, he is one of the co-creators of the TV show Seinfeld, and he's starring and writing my favorite TV show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's a really funny show. I suggest all of you guys try watching it. It is hilarious, and I've been watching it for a long time now.
So basically right now I'm just laying down the under colors, kind of playing around. I don't know why I'm using so much yellow. I'm probably gonna reverse so much yellow in this program. Program. Okay, we added some color. How are you liking these colors, Alexa? I love it. I'm Too much yellow, though. Too. Too much yellow, though. Oh, wow, look at Alexa's masterpiece. Uh, wow. I have the best art teacher in the world. Who, who helped you with that? Wait, how do I? Who you? helped you? Okay, so I'm bake, bake me a cake, bake me a cake, and it gets cat but art. What? How does it go? How's the song go? Yo, you can't eat it before it's done. You're on my memory card, I think. No, it's my memory card, okay? I have a good memory. It's my memory card. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're making sugar-free, fat-free, carb-free? No. Gluten-free, sugar-free. Alexa thinks gluten-free means like this whole thing. What is gluten? No one even knows what gluten is. It doesn't mean it doesn't have carbs and it's not unhealthy. It has carbs, but it's gluten-free and sugar-free. The reason it's gluten-free is because oh, some gonna, people are allergic we're to We're gonna add the special, you know what we're gonna add, right? Guess what? Oh wow, this is gonna get it poppin'. Guess how much I paid for those Oreos? I don't even want to know. No, it was 20 bucks. Oh, okay. But that's expensive for an Oreo. A $20 Oreo? $20? $20 Oreo? Look, I made you the pretty one. The okay, bread one with the... Okay, thank you. Wow. Okay, we got to get like a nice setup. I'm going to eat... I'm barbecuing a little food, so I'm going to eat I'm my... I'm going to eat this until later. Yeah, let's just make a nice setup, though. Make it look good. This without the icing, but mm. it's fire, right? Wiggle. Financial institutions, nuclear launch codes for every single nuclear weapon. All these codes. Whoa. Hype beast. I got more supreme. <laughs> the supreme Oreos, I wonder if they taste good, right? And truffle. I don't normally have milk. I usually have soy milk, but this is an occasion. Alexa made the cupcakes. Oh. And I provided the supreme. Alexa! Ah! Oh, wrong one. Okay, let's try this. The supreme Oreo first. Let's see if it tastes like a regular Oreo. Truffle wants one. Yummy. You didn't want to eat it with the cupcake together? I am, I just. Oh yeah, eat it, like, see, bite know. it like all together. I feel like, cause it's vanilla and then. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Yummy, mm. yummy. Wow. Are these banana? It has banana sweetener, cause I didn't use sugar, I just used sweetener. Oh, okay. I used banana to sweeten it. Not, it would have been too like, not sweet. So I guess it's not fully sugar free because it's not banana has sugar. But it's natural sugar. Hi peace cookies. Hi <laughs> peace cookies. Okay. Okay. okay, we're here with Larry David. It's been a couple days in the making. We did the drawing, laid down the basics of Larry here. Larry's a bright, colorful guy, so he's kind of receptive to the bright colors. He's a funny dude, we love him so. We're gonna lay down the black and then we're gonna kinda of go back and fine tune the coloring and shading. So right now, I just wanna lay down the colors. So let's get that going.
Larry David, he's one of my favorite guys. So Ooh. this couldn't make me happier painting him right now. So cool. The squiggly wiggly. It's funny, I came up with this style of painting. It was like almost by accident. Cause I was doing, back in the day, I was doing like a lot of wheat paste posters in the street where we would make prints, you know, of, mm. of uh, the piece of art and then add the, the color later. So we make like a thousand prints and then add some color blocking to it later. Mm. So what I did was in, in the portraits that I was doing the wheat paste of, I would do these squiggly lines to kind of mark the area where to add the, the color. So I could, uh, so we could, you know, at fill in the colors quickly. So they were like kind of like guidelines to like where where to paint the colors. And now it's just come become kind of my signature style. Squiggly wiggly. Oh Larry David! He's coming through! <laughs> Ow, Truffle, you're going crazy. What's wrong with you, Truffle? The problem with these paintings, it's like you gotta know when to stop. Cause there's no like with the Monopoly ones, they're easy because you know, like, okay, I gotta, you know, I finished. You know, I filled in the color of Monopoly and Richie Rich, and you're done. These are kind of a little more of an open book. You don't really know when, when you're finished. And sometimes you can mess them up by going too far. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Sure. Ah, I got it! Wow, good job. 20 minutes later, we finally get her. She needs to go in there. She needs to come out. Put her away. Aww, you sweet baby. Oh. Oh. So we're adding a couple little logos here, Seinfeld. I feel like this one is a little too overpowering in its face, the Seinfeld logo, so we're gonna take that out. Okay guys, thank you for tuning into the vlog. It was a fun journey painting Larry David. Still working on it a little bit, it's not done. So we'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and like the video. See you in the future.